Hello fellow nerds, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Here's a quick little update on the ClearPet G project. I do have the tile on my printables page, so if you want to skip all of the tuning, you absolutely can. But what I worked on t recently, actually just today, this just came off the printer, is an ironing test. So along the side we have percentage, and then along the top we have speed. And I will go into more details about where this came from when we hop on the computer. But since this just came off, let's talk about it. So the flow where it's 100%, it seems like it's just a little bit wobbly. So let me see if I can zoom into the very end. Because if you look, it kind of has just a little bit of extra material on top. And it does end right about there. So that's where um, you'll just see that little bit of excess material. And let's go over to around here, like 40 by 40, 50, like in this area. Um, like, honestly, I don't think you'll go too wrong anywhere, but if you really want to dialed in, just in this area looks the best. So I'd say like 40 by 40, um, right in there looks pretty dang good to me. And I am going to put, try this on the tiles because I think that's really where we will see it the most clear. Um, and I will have those at the end of the video. So for now, let's just hop onto the computer. We'll talk about where this came from, get it set up on uh, Orca Slicer, and send it to the printer. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, um, consider subscribing. Oh, and like I said, if you want to skip all of this and just get the Clear Pet G tile in, with the best settings, um, I'll leave the link down below and also um, this Clear Pet G setup, but for Clear Pet G. Okay, so let's hop onto Orca and then I'll be back with the tiles, the ironed tiles. Coming up on the Clear Pet G project, I was gonna try to incorporate this into the Clear test, test file, but luckily I stumbled across this video by Uncle Jesse, Master Ironing for Perfectly Smooth Top Layer 3D Prints, and this fits in so perfect. So I went to printables and found the file, the .3MF file provided by Leogan Pro. What a legend. Downloaded it, and here we have it in Orca Slicer. So I'm sending this to the printer now. And we will let it print. I'm gonna do a live print for this as well. So if you want to look right up here, there should be a card if you'd like to see that live print happening. If not, let's look at the final print and we'll talk about the best settings. And um, I will upload this .3MF as well. So you can just go ahead and put it into your Whatever printer you're you're using, you can put the 3MF into Orca and you can use your clear filament and you can get your perfect ironing settings. If you want to get your, uh, if you need to get your flow rate calibrated, um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a future video. But if you have your flow rate calibrated, you can use this. Just as is, if your flow rate is 1, you're good. If you know what your flow rate is, you could import this .3MF. You could change your flow rate in here and get your ironing settings, and you'll be 100% good to go. And if you guys have any questions, too, always feel free to ask in the comments below or join the Discord. And here, let's go to future Aaron with the final results of this test. Okay, so it's off the printer. That one right there is 50 by 50, and as you can tell, it's like a little bit coarse, 40 by 40, 30 by 30, and they look really good, um, really nice and flat, but being clear, it gets a little cloudy with the ironing. So unfortunately, I don't think ironing is the way to go with these unless you're you know, really just looking for the flat top. It's kind of like a matte finish almost. Um, but this is what it looks like when you just have your flow rate dialed in and you don't do any extra ironing. So for clear, it's not a go, um, but if you're just looking to get your pet G flattened out, uh, I'd, I'd say like go 30 by 30, 
uh, 40 by 40 isn't like too much worse. So if you're trying to shave off seconds, you can. Um, but you know, this still looks pretty good. But I wouldn't. I would. I would just skip the ironing for clear. Um, but I will still put this on the printables page, free as always. And thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Big shout out to uh, Lee Leogan Pro for uh, this as well. And upcoming on the channel, I'm gonna still try to do the benchy on the bottle. That'll kind of be on the back burner. Um, if you want to learn how to use AI just to make models super quick, I'll put a video around here. Next up will be the Gajuino build. Um, I have a video with all the different parts around here, and I'm gonna go a little more into detail before I start on that as well. I also have some filament coming in from um, Polymaker. So I have some Polymaker Pet G, and I will test that. This is a Elegoo. So I'll test that versus the Elegoo, and I have some Overture as well, and they're sending me some PET, oh sorry, some uh, PC, and I, I bought some translucent blue from them as well, so there'll be a lot more fun prints coming up. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Uh, consider a liking and or subscribing, and I am ready for bed, so I will see you guys on the next one.